All right, so in this video, I wanted to bring you guys kind of a list of sneakers that I'm going to potentially bring with me to Disneyland in a couple weeks. Give them the go and just wear them uh, every single day in Disneyland. I think I'm going to bring two pairs uh, to just give a trial and see how they go because Disneyland is full of walking, obviously, but it's also full of standing in line. So there's kind of a balance in sneakers that I'm looking for uh, that I'm going to be taking on this trip. So in this video, hopefully we'll be able to cover some of the vacation shoes that I'm going to be bringing. And then I want you guys to help out, leave a comment, and let me know which shoes you guys think that I should be bringing out of the ones that I'm going to be showing you uh, that are kind of my options for right now. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And let's go ahead and get into it. So right now actually is a pretty crazy time because there's a ton of different products that are new to the market that haven't even released yet. Uh, four comfort sneakers that I'm looking forward to getting. One of them being the Rebel Fuel Cell V3 from New Balance. Uh, but any which way, there's a bunch of stuff that's coming that I haven't got my hands on. This is one that I just got in the door, uh, compliments of East Bay. This is the Nike Air Pegasus 39. And this is an incredible pair of sneakers so far. I tried this on, I haven't had a chance to walk around too much in them, but uh, really soft, squishy, great on feet and a great overall improvement from the previous 38s. It's a bit lighter, but here's the best part. You can actually get these from East Bay right now for 35% off. It's like $84, $85 shipped. That's an incredible deal. Uh, retails, I think 130 on these. So if you guys wanna buy these, check the link in the description now. The sale is only available for a couple more days, but for some reason they didn't exclude this new model uh, from their discounts, which I found kind of interesting. Usually the new models, it takes months and months for them to be discounted. And you can actually get this one right now for cheaper than the 38s, which again, my head scratching. I don't know why that's the case. Any which way, this is one that I'm maybe considering because it does have Nike React in the midsole along with Nike Zoom, and it is very lightweight, breathable, an all around great uh, racehorse training shoe, but it's a daily runner that you can wear. It's not too soft and squishy. It's not too firm. And I'm gonna do Magic Kingdom the first day. And then we're gonna do California Adventure. And then I think we might go back to the Magic Kingdom. But then we got, I think Legoland and some other stuff we're gonna be doing um, as well. So this is one of the contenders. Do you guys think I should be wearing these or not? Leave a comment and let me know. So another one that I just got in that I'm actually really impressed with in hand. This is a Brooks Glycerin GTS 20. Uh, the 19s were okay, but the 20s, I believe, have a different uh, midsole setup. This is extremely soft and squishy. This is DNA Loft V3. So this is the soft, squishy, good stuff uh, right here. And on feet, they felt really, really good. Great amount of heel and forefoot squish. And the mesh felt really great on feet as well. This one also does not have a, a separated tongue. It's kind of the attached tongue and a little extra stretch around the top. Sometimes that's actually preference if you want to wear them loose just because it automatically snugs it down a little bit and makes it a little bit more secure for your feet because this is a, a wide body for sure. I haven't done a detailed review on these yet, but I plan on doing it soon. Uh, again, I got these over from East Bay. If you guys want a link in the description to buy your own of these, uh, check them out. They're really, really good though. I honestly think this is gonna be a top 10 comfort sneaker for 2022. Uh, probably maybe even top five. It might actually edge out some of the competition because it is extremely good. But there's some other new models out there that I haven't tried yet uh, that I'm really excited to try out. The Nova Blast V3 for one from Asics. And then also we have the Hoka Clifton 9s, is it? Whatever whatever version it is, the new one, it looks really good as well. But for now, we have the previous versions of both of those models that are both exceptional as well. The Asics Nova Blast V2, that one is really, really good. Soft, squishy, about the same price range as uh, this guy right here, a little softer on feet even. And then the Hoka Clifton 8, those things are amazing as well. Very comfortable on feet. Nice little roller motion. Very uh, stable though, surprisingly, because it doesn't look like it's gonna be a stable shoe because of the thickness of that cushioning, but an amazing pair of sneakers and really one that I could just see myself cruising around in as well. So those two are definitely top tier contenders as well. Another one by Asics that really is quite good. This has the FF Blast Plus in the midsole, which is super soft. Really nice and squishy. There's also some gel in the forefoot, so there's definitely some nice added squish uh, there as well as around the heel. But this is the Asics Gel Nimbus 24. 24 is definitely heads and tails above the 23 because it has the FF Blast Plus uh, versus just a regular FF Blast. But it's nice and soft. The upper is really good, nice, soft, and stretchy. My favorite part is the tongue, though. It's just very, very stretchy and um, very breathable as well. I also like the collar around the heel. It's very soft and plush and just feels really good on feet. It's a really comfortable pair of sneakers and one that you guys recommended, thanks to you guys. Uh, I got a pair of them and I gotta say, they're very, very good. I did a review on them and very surprised by the overall product uh, that Asics is, is delivering, really good stuff. Another obvious choice that I could go with, which is actually what I did with Disney World uh, last year, and that is the Adidas Ultra Boost 22 this time. The 21s is what I wore last year, but it's a really good, comfortable pair of sneakers for uh, traveling. And part of the reason why I like this better than some of the softer and squishier options on the market, because honestly, a lot of these are a little bit softer feeling than these on feet. But the firmness of this and the overall ground feel and the heel-toe transitions of the Ultra Boost 22s, and it's a pair of sneakers that I enjoyed standing in line with 
and it's not so soft and squishy that it fatigues your feet because honestly that could be one of the problems as i was saying it's kind of a give and take you want something soft and squishy enough that you're walking around and you have some nice comfort on your feet but you don't want something so soft and squishy that when you're standing there it fatigues your feet an example of something that would fatigue my feet in my opinion would be the alpha flies from nike that is obviously a marathon running sneaker so it's not really made for standing around it has a rocking motion where you're supposed to be walking forward and running forward uh, and it doesn't do side to side very well. It's a little bit unstable. As well as when you're standing in one place, you feel the rocking on the ball of your foot a bit because obviously that's the intent of the shoes. That's one of those ones I sacrificed a dollar. It was like 275. Tried them out casually and just realized it's, it's just not a casual shoe. It's not something that you would appreciate and enjoy, even though it is the flagship running sneaker. Again, not every running sneaker is a crossover to lifestyle, which is part of the reason why I like doing these type of videos. Anyways, the Ultra Boost 22 is a great option. Very comfortable on feet. Not too firm, not too soft, and a great overall ground feel on those. Nice breathability on them also. I would actually go up a half a size on the Ultra Boost 22. Personally, true to size works, but I like the extra room on my toes. Also, this is a new one that just came out that I got from Adidas. I'll have a review of these uh, very soon, but this is the Ultra Boost 19.5. Really dope that they actually did a 0.5 version of the 19s because I actually really like the 1920 as well as the new versions that we see, the 21-22s like this. Uh, this is a, is a great option as well and very comfortable on feet and I love this colorway this colorway is super fire So those are some good options here. Also, I wanted to mention the Nike Invincible Run 2. I have a pair coming I might get them before I go on vacation uh, The Invincible Run is a really really big max cushion zoom X stack very comfortable and probably the biggest softest and squishiest Option on the market for casual. I think it's a great option But honestly, I would probably bring it as more of like a recovery sort of thing So like I would wear like maybe my ultra boost 22s during the day and then if I go back to the park at night with the kids, I might throw on uh, the Invincible Runs, just a little bit something softer. But again, leave a comment in the comment section, which pair do you think I should wear uh, during my trip? Or if you have other suggestions that I don't call out, feel free to leave those in the comment section as well. Because I will be doing a follow-up of like top 10 comfort sneakers later in this year. And a lot of these are contenders for that final list that I'm gonna be making. But again, I just don't have all of the sneakers, unfortunately, uh, yet for that final list. Now you guys know I'm not gonna leave my list without mentioning my New Balance 1080 V12s. This is an incredible model. The 1080 V10s and 11s I've taken literally everywhere from Hawaii, Vegas, Disneyland. It's just one of those pairs of sneakers that I love the overall feel of. It's not too soft, it's not too squishy, but it has the right feel. And I love the heel-toe transition on them. The mesh on the upper is really nice and stretchy and, and just overall feel is amazing on feet for me. It's one of my favorite pairs of sneakers all around for comfort for the last like two or three years. So definitely in consideration for something that I'll be bringing with me. And I really wish that I had a chance to get the Fuel Cell Rebel V3s uh, because those are another pair that I absolutely think is gonna be amazing on feet. The Rebel V2s is really good as well. It's very soft and squishy and uh, lightweight, extremely lightweight as well. So another great option. Also the flagship version of those is like the Laredo's because it has the fuel cell uh, in the midsole and those are incredible as well. That's another one that's just tried and true, a pair that I bring with me on a lot of vacations. New Balance is definitely bringing the heat with some of the other stuff that you guys probably haven't even tried. The, the fuel cell stuff is absolutely incredible. Uh, the Fresh Foam X is absolutely incredible as well. Anyways, I think those are gonna be my top choices for Disneyland this vacation coming up. Remember, it's also August, so it's gonna be really hot. So something that has like a lot of breathability is something that I am looking forward to as well. Uh, but there's a ton of different options of footwear that I've tried recently. Uh, so if there's something in the mix that you guys think that I should give a go. But anyway, lots of great options out there and appreciate y'all for stopping by and watching the video. If you guys wanna buy any of the ones that I talked about in this video, I'll link them in the description uh, of the video and hopefully it's somewhat informative to you guys. I should have reviews on some of these sneakers out here pretty soon uh, within the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys have a good rest of the day and uh, hopefully we'll see you back for some more content soon. All right, peace guys.